Spring! Spring! I live in the UK. I mean, jokes apart, spring in Nottingham is gorgeous. I'm not sure you can hear it but whenever I pass by in this area I can always hear a lot of birds chirping Someone delivered a bouquet of flowers to our house and it was a mistake. None of us was expecting that. It doesn't say any name. We opened the, the little letter and it says, you make me happy in a way no one can. And that's so sweet. I mean, look at the bouquet of flowers. We thought, girls, that we had a secret admirer, but no. Here's what they're talking about. Yeah. Then just give us a call, all right? Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's so nice. Bye. Mystery solved. It was my roommate's friend who sent it to our house so that my roommate friend roommates didn't find out about the surprise, if that makes sense. If not, just know that none of us has a secret admirer. Shall I get flowers for myself? I've never done that. I ended up not buying any flowers for me, just grocery. By the way, look at this doorway. It's so cute. Look what I found on my way home. This is so cute. I feel like grabbing it and taking it home. Who leaves it like that outside? I love my area. Before I saw a Chinese cat, an interesting detail. And now look at these flowers. I love my area. Did I tell you that before? I just had was so good all the petals that are falling down on me and on the picnic carpet picnic blanket and also on the picnic basket and everywhere else on my hair and I could watch the sunset as well I'm glad I came obviously I'm packing now to go home but I want to do this again Oh my god, look how beautiful this is. This is so magical. Wow. Here is a little bit of behind the scenes. My long and big tripod and then the mini tripod that I'm currently using. I use both of them to film. I hope you liked it and that it looks professional as well. But yeah. Before I go home, I just wanted to show you that I found a bouquet of flowers on top of a bin. I think it used to belong to someone, but 
they decided to throw them away and I decided to grab them for myself since no one gives me flowers and the only flowers I get are from the bin. <laughs> I mean, they weren't inside by the way. <laughs> uh, th these are not fresh by the way. They're a bit old and yeah, I decided to take this home. <laughs> Finally, I got flowers. Morning. So yesterday it was a little bit dark and you couldn't really see the flowers really well. So as you can see, these are a little bit withered and then there are still fresh plants and flowers like this here. And I believe there is a story behind this. Someone wanted to fix a relationship or friendship with this bouquet of flowers and then it went wrong. Good for me because I wanted to get them from Lidl. And then a few hours later, I found this for free. This is so pretty. Look at this. I left them. I left them under the sun since it hasn't got any sun since yesterday. My eyes cannot believe what it's seeing right now. It's April and it's snowing. Don't believe me? Let me show you. I don't know if you can tell, but look at the grass. That's snow. Those are not flowers. When I think about spring, my mind automatically thinks about Easter and Easter eggs. And I'm going to buy an Easter egg, hopefully Kinder from Tesco now. Easter was yesterday, so I'm one day late and I'm hoping to still find something. I hope you can recognize this bush. If not, this is the place where I can hear a lot of birds chirping. Right next to this bush, I found something really, really cute. Let me show you. It was a tiny kitchen for kids. And I can see something really cute now as well. Let me show you. That dog was so freaking fluffy. Look at the contrast. Flowers and snow in April. Can you believe that? It looks like it's spring, as you can tell from the flowers behind me, but it doesn't feel like, it feel it's cold and it feels like it's winter, as you can tell from my beanie. It's a bit naive of me looking for an Easter egg after the Easter has ended. I'm dum dum. I found a, you know, small kinder egg, which is better than nothing. Yeah, this is what I was referring to before, but it's not what I wanted to buy initially. What I wanted to buy were the bigger versions of this kinder surprise. Hi everyone. I'm going to the university to see how spring looks like in campus. I should have done the picnic video here. It's so much quieter, nicer, and there are more flowers. here in the UK and Nottingham it can snow in April we have bad weathers we have cloudy days like right now but spring does exist here in the UK that's for sure <laughs> We 
before closing up this video i want to remind you all that tomorrow is the 11th of april meaning that it's going to be one year of youtube for me someone asked me how my journey was like on youtube before being monetized I would say it was definitely fun. I had my struggles such as technical issues. I'm very well aware of how the audio can be low sometimes, especially when making, when interviewing people. I do have a microphone, but it's not that reliable and I need to buy another microphone. But apart from having had fun and technical issues, I'm not the same person as I was before. I'm so glad I opened a YouTube channel. I'm so glad I'm not just a consumer on YouTube, but also a creator. It's teaching me so, so much. It's not just making and editing videos. It's so much more than that. Anyway, I could talk about YouTube hours and hours nonstop. So I'm just gonna end it here. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. And as always, take care and see you all in the next video.